Like our road and rail network, airspace is an important part of our national infrastructure, with millions of planes passing through our skies every year. This network of flight paths has changed little since the 1950s, and so the government has embarked upon a program of airspace modernization. The aim of airspace modernization is to make journeys more reliable, reduce the environmental impact of flying, make better use of new technology, better manage some of the local impacts of aviation such as noise, and drive further improvements in safety. All UK airports are required to take a fresh look at their current flight paths up to 7,000 feet. Meanwhile, NATS, the UK's air traffic navigation service provider, is looking at airspace above 7,000 feet. There are seven different stages to this process. London Stansted Airport is currently at Stage 2, Develop and Assess. We have completed Stage 1 by submitting our Statement of Need, which sets out why we believe changes are required, and establishing a set of design principles, which are high-level considerations used to guide the development of our route designs. The Civil Aviation Authority assessed the work completed in Stage 1 and gave their approval for us to proceed to Stage 2. In Stage 2, our route designers will firstly identify areas where it would be possible to design routes and areas where it would not. In doing this, they take account of aircraft performance and the international procedures that apply to aircraft landings and takeoffs. The route designers will then develop a set of potential route options. Each potential route option will then be assessed against our statement of need and the 11 design principles established through stakeholder engagement in Stage 1. We will be inviting local stakeholders to a number of engagement events to comment on the process we followed and tell us their views on the potential route options. Taking on board stakeholder feedback, we will refine this comprehensive list of options. The impact, both positive and negative, of each route option will then be assessed to create a short list of options to be taken forward. These will be subject to further analysis that considers aspects such as noise and fuel burn. Once our Stage 2 work has been approved, we move to Stage 3, which will include formal public consultation on more developed routes. To find out more and to keep updated, visit our website www.stansteadairport.com forward slash future airspace and CAA's Airspace Change Portal.